On the 5th of October 2021, a gruesome murder shocked the town of Mvoma. A woman named Regina Kumbola, 35, was brutally killed with her one-year-old son on her back by her husband, Ramek Batirai, 39, who allegedly wanted to sell her body parts for ritual purposes. He had been promised a reward of 5,000 US dollars by two men, Tungayo Hotera and Innocent Munemo, who claimed that they needed a human tongue and breast for their money rituals. The crime was discovered by a passerby, Christopher Mayinge Hama, who was using a footpath on his way to town when he heard a baby crying in the bush. He decided to investigate the sound and found an infant lying beside a woman's dead body, which was covered in blood. He took the baby and went to tell others and returned with five other people from the village. However, when they returned to the crime scene, they noticed that the body was no longer in the same position. It had been dragged about 50 meters away, presumably by the killer who was still lurking in the area. The police were notified and when they questioned the husband who was the last person to be seen with his wife, he could not give a solid answer. After interrogation, he confessed to the murder and implicated Hotera and Munemu as his accomplices. He said that he had lured his wife into the bush by asking her to walk him halfway to his workplace at around 5 p.m. He had planned this probably so that he would claim that he had gone to work and she was probably attacked on her way back home. He then stabbed her several times and tried to cut off her tongue and breast but was interrupted by hearing the footsteps of the passerby and he hid in the forest. He hoped to return later and finish the job and he was the one who had dragged the body from the original murder scene but abandoned the body after hearing the villagers looking for it. The murder sparked outrage and grief among the relatives and friends of the victim, who described her as a loving and caring mother of three children. They also expressed their anger and disgust at the husband, who had betrayed and killed his wife for money and superstition. The family was so outraged by this murder that they decided to bury her at the center of his parents' homestead in Zaka as a way of sending a message of their pain and shock. They did this because the Batirai family had refused to negotiate with them for compensation. They did not involve the husband's relatives in the burial ceremony and they sang and danced as they laid her to rest. The police had to be called to maintain order because Batirai's family wanted to ban them from their homestead. The murder raised questions and concerns about the prevalence and impact of racial killings in Zimbabwe, where some people still believe that human body parts can bring them wealth, power and protection. The police and the government have vowed to crack down on such crimes and bring the perpetrators to justice. The case of Ramek Batirai and his wife is one of the most horrific examples of how human life can be devalued and destroyed by greed and ignorance. I could not find any record of his sentencing. He is probably still in jail awaiting trial.